What's up, Mabuhay Squad? Good day, guys. Let me tell you, we have a problem. <clears throat> but don't worry, it's nothing you guys should really worry about too much. It's a problem we have. Mabuhay Squad, the problem is. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. We missed an upload in the vlogs. So sorry guys. For those of you who are wondering, okay, what happened to the vlogs like a couple days ago or so? Yeah, we had to skip. Why? Because for the holidays, Jaya is out in the province and they had a typhoon. So internet for Jaya is not so good. Usually we send all of our footage um, over to her through the internet, through Dropbox or whatever. Um, but she is having problems downloading all the footage to edit the vlogs and upload. So very forgivable. Sorry guys if we skipped a vlog or two <laughs> We're kind of just like doing our best This is the, the disadvantage when you do like almost same day edit or like vlogs that are up to date if Something happens and you can't <laughs> finish the vlog on time. You miss a day. It's okay. A break is good sometimes, right? We're here at the Shangri-La mm -hmm. Hotel kind of near us beautiful Christmas tree and uh, we're having some breakfast RJ are we gonna make this a tradition? Why not look look how beautiful this is every Saturday morning. Let's hang out here you guys check out these quesadillas Oh yum. Well, I like my breakfast tray. I love your breakfast tray, too. Mmm look at all that guys Yummers by the way if you're new to the vlogs welcome to the channel my name is Mikey Bustos. We are here in Manila, Philippines. Mm -hmm. And the holidays have just been awesome. Mm. Food galore. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button to join the Mabuhay squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Sorry, meeting with my mouth full. Guys, I'm the most rude, gross, uncivilized person on this earth. When food and I come together, all manners go out the window. So guys, I've been thinking, right? New Year's resolutions. Like, every year, yeah. Think of a resolution. I mean, I'm always goal setting no matter what time of the year it is, but I like to set a challenge or a goal. Last year, it was to grow my hair. January 1st, I stopped shaving my hair, right? And that lasted. It was actually supposed to only be for three months. I kept it the whole year. And I have been thinking because ugh, styling my hair now, is kind of becoming a little annoying. I did a little poll online and you guys said I should keep the hair. Even though I've been fantasizing shaving it again. Should I shave it? RJ thinks I, should, I shouldn't I shave no, it. No, with or without hair, I will still. I will still love you. With or without manners. <laughs> but I miss having a bald head now. <laughs> I've, I've, I've felt what life is like again having hair. I've got it out of my system. I think I'm ready to go bald again. But that's not my New Year's resolution. RJ, what's your New Year's resolution? Have you thought about this? He needs time to think, he says. <laughs> my New Year's resolution is this. I've been thinking about it for a while. To no longer do two things. Complain about other people or speak anything negative about other people. Now, yeah, I usually don't kind of do that anyways. I always look at the good side of people, but I want to do it more. Like literally, this past December, because we've been working and like, it's been a stressful month, I've been complaining a lot. Finding faults in people, finding negative qualities in people. I want to, I want to become an artist at finding the good in every single person I come across and not say anything bad about someone. This is something I read in one of the books that I bought from Barnes and Nobles. Apparently will transform your life if you completely cut out complaining about people and seeing negative aspects about people and instead converting it to looking for the good in every single person. Mm. That's my New Year's resolution. How about you guys? Let me know in the comments. Yes, guys, my High Squad. That. We met a fellow Mabu High Squad. What is your name? Maria Cristina Alfonso Santiago. Oh, wow. Guys, and she's asking us about like Ligaya and all of that. <laughs> and all the stuff. Because we're, we're Filipino. Filipino. We're taking pictures. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. All right, nice meeting you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Yeah, nice meeting you.
Good morning, Mabuhay squad. Guys, we have a problem. <laughs> Watch this. The guy is over here. She looks normal, right? But look at her body language. I open the door and she puffs up. That is not a friendly pose, guys. Can I scratch? Scratch, scratch, scratch. Good girl. Guys, she is so aggressive. Okay, not right now, but can I scratch? Okay, I'll scratch you. She gave me the scratch motion, but when I move in to scratch, she bites me hard. And yesterday, she made me bleed. She is attacking me, like full out angry aggression. This is day two now of this aggressive like behavior. Now, I mean, she's bitten me before um, to let me know a few things, you know, like she doesn't want to do something or whatnot. But now it's like full on attacking. Like I'll go here, see, see, see her, see her. That is like, I'm going to bite you, get away. Now I find Ligaya will, you know, bite for a couple reasons. Like look, when she's hormonal, she'll bite sometimes. But no guys, this is different. And I don't know what happened. Can I scratch? Okay, she wants me to scratch her. Okay, but she's like preparing to bite me. See that? See that, guys? I don't want you to bite me. Now, here's the thing. Ate Elsie, totally fine. <laughs> She'll step up for Ate Elsie and all of this. But she's decided that she hates me now. <laughs> she wants to bite me. Like, guys, I'm okay if you want to, like, bite my finger off for the rest of your life. I just want to make sure it's nothing health-related. So, this morning, we're going to take her to the vet just to do a checkup because with birds, once there's like a behavior change, it can be a red flag to something health related. But it's just so strange how like yesterday something switched and she just like wants to bite me. <laughs> she doesn't like me anymore. So guys, if Legaya for the rest of her like 80 year life decides that I can't touch her anymore, sorry. Sorry to you guys. You can't, you can't watch me scratch her no more. We'll have to ask Ateos. Legaya, what is it? What did I do? And why me? Is it because I started eating carbs again? Hmm? Is it because you hate the training sessions? Maybe she thinks like I'm coming in to take her out in the hallway so she could fly. What is it? I don't know what I did. Whatever it is I did to make you hate me, I'm sorry. And I promise I'll make it up to you. Just please don't bite me again. It hurts. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can pet her again. Good girl. Whoops. See, I'm so scared now. See, look at her eyes. Like, she's ready to bite. I'm assuming you're hormonal, okay, bird? I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think it is. If you have an African gray or a parrot, like, will your parrot switch like this and, like, just hate you for, like, a few days and then all of a sudden switch back to normal? Will I have the old sweet Ligaya back? I don't know. Or will she just decide that at the LC now is her new, like, bond mate and, like, she hates everyone else? What if I gave you a treat, huh? <laughs> what if I bribe you? This always worked with my parents. Hey, the guys. What if I bribed you with a bite or two of banana? See, look, usually she would be like, here, a bite. See, she won't even accept banana from me. This is how much she hates me, guys. Banana? Huh? No, you won't even like banana. This is your favorite. Here, there. Okay, she's just licking the banana. She's not even eating it. Why, the guys, why? So I attached Malungai up here so she could play with it. But every time I stick my hand inside, look, watch. She like lunges at me. She's never lunged at me. Like, well, I mean, she, when she was like, a little chick, she did once, but never usually. See her? She's like ready to bite me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm closing the door. She doesn't want me touching any of her toys. Is this your teenage rebellious stage? Cause I don't like it. Is this karma for what I used to do to my mom? Huh? The headaches I gave my mom. RJ, can you try touching the Gaia? I'm scared. Okay, scratch. so she wants to bite you too. <laughs> try touching, scratch, giving her a scratch. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Scratch, scratch. Even though I'm scared. Yeah. It's definitely, it's probably a hormonal thing. This is my guess. She's hormonal, and because we can't mate with her, she bites us. Like, it's like frustration, you know what I mean? Okay, well, I hope you get over this phase soon, and we're taking you to the vet as well. It's nighttime. There's Grande. Hi, hey, Grande. Working on a night kind of video. I'm just here, looking at Ligaya, talking to her. Hey, the guys, it's me, remember? See, she's coming up to the cage as if she wants to to be pet. You gonna be nice to me? Can I scratch? Can I scratch? Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. 
No. See, with these birds, you kind of have to read their body language. And right now, for some reason, her body language is telling me something's up. Now, her poo is super healthy. Like, that poo is like super healthy poo. So, I don't think she's sick. We're taking her to the vet tomorrow, not today. Can I? Oh, see? She was about to bite. Are you okay, the guys? Hmm? All right, I'm just gonna let you be. And I hope you will go back to the sweet bird that you used to be. I miss scratching you. It's been two days since I haven't scratched you because you're gonna bite my finger off. <laughs> Now I wanted to show this to you guys as well because for those of you who want Oops, she pooed again. And that's some healthy poo. All the parts are there. Um, for those of you who want to have a parrot, you guys should expect, you know, the bad stuff too. <laughs> For those of you guys who have been following this channel for a while since we first got her as a chick It's been a long road and I've poured my entire heart into like caring for the Gaia making sure she's a great pet And still see she has this biting face uh, You want me to scratch? Okay, she's doing the sign like she wants a scratch But then she ends up biting my finger off scratch scratch scratch. No. All right. I'll let you be actually it's bedtime I'll put you to bed All right Time for sleep, sleep, sleep. It is time for sleep, 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 sleep. Done. I love this bird. <gasps> Alright Mabu High Squad, so we are here now in Podium Mall, mm -hmm. see that? And we're taking you guys to a special place and joining us today is a very special person. Mm -hmm. This person is someone you might know. Check him out. <laughs> 